So God gave me a dream today and he gave me a vision and I'm going to be sharing it with y'all. Basically what he showed me in this dream and the vision is that the purge is going to be happening. The purge is really going to happen. But guess on who it's going to happen. It's going to happen on the Christians. So I came home from work today. He gave me a dream. In the dream, I saw that I was on my unit. I was at work. I was completely unaware that the day that I was at work was the day that it was set for the purge to happen. And all I saw at my job was the news come on. They broadcast the news and they, you know, they announced, you know, today's the annual purge. Blase, blase, blase. Long story short, after they finished announcing it, all I saw in my dream was people coming out with their machetes, people coming out with their weapons, and I'm at work, and they were trying to um, kill me. And not only were they trying to kill me at work, where I was working in my dream, on the unit, on the hospital, they were also trying to kill every Christian all over the world. Right? So I woke up from the dream. I had this dream today. I got this dream today. I woke up from the dream completely shickety shook, shock. I'm shaking. I'm nervous. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go share this dream with my sister. As I step off of my bed, the first foot that touches the floor, I get this vision. It's vivid, clear as day. All I see is just blood everywhere all over the floor, all over everything. I just see blood everywhere. So the purge will be allowed to happen, guys. And it's going to be the persecution of Christians. Donald Trump is the last trumpet. His policies are what's going to be protecting us Christians. Because the word of God also says that God raises up kings and tears down kings. Trump is the last trumpet trump is the last trumpet he's going to keep us christians in this grace period so that we can build and do whatever it is that god is calling you to do do it if it's to start that nonprofit, that business that organization if it's to get on here and post bible studies whatever it is god is calling you to do do it because we are in the grace period right now we're about to be in the grace period where we are supposed to be building and preparing for what's to come god is calling us believers to do the work for his kingdom and jesus said to the disciples the harvest is plenty but the workers are few the laborers are few the west has become apostate we are post-christian we're literally living in modern Babylon. It's a mockery. They know Jesus is real. They his rights. This has nothing to do with anybody's rights. This has to do with an, a demonic agenda. We see this playing in pop culture. We're seeing politics and education right now are pushing this demonic agenda. This demonic agenda isn't happy with having rights. They demand that you recognize those rights. And if you don't recognize those rights, you're going to get punished. You're going to get silenced and you're going to get canceled and there is one more thing they're gonna go for they will put you and I in the closet destroy remove Christianity the far left is trying to do is they're trying to demonize Christian they're trying to ridicule Christian the whole elemental P movement the whole movement the whole movement none of that is of God the principalities and the demons that are behind those movements are Ishtar, Lilith, and Baal. Baal worship. We are not fighting a flesh and flesh fight. We are fighting a spiritual fight. We do not fight against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities and heavenly places and rulers in this unseen realm, against each other in regions. This is all part of the movement of the far left. The far left. I'm telling y'all right now, if you guys vote that woman in, I'm not even into politics, but the Bible was big in politics. Esther was a pol was into politics. David, Daniel, the whole Bible is a is a is about the nation. You can read about all of this. Ishtar, Lilith, and Baal in the book of Judges and also in the book of Samuel. America needs to repent because this is the direction we are going down 
end. These spiritual forces of darkness are still here. They are still operating in this world right now as we speak. That's why in the book of Revelations 2.20, Jesus said, Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet. She misleads my servants into sexual immorality and to eat food sacrificed to idols. Christianity is not a social club where we get on here and, and, and we post about our feelings and all the cutesy stuff and the aesthetic and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that stuff is beautiful. But we are soldiers for the army of God. So here are the words that are coming out of my mouth today. It is time for us to rise and walk in authority and power. Just like the book of Acts. Just like the book of Esther. Just like the book of Joshua. Just like the book of David. The Lord is saying, where are my Esthers? Where are my Joshuas? Where are my Deborahs? Where are my Davids? Where are my Samuels? We need to rise up. We need to rise up. Where are my Pauls? that aren't gonna run or be afraid, that are going to be willing to lay down their life for me. To live is Christ, to die is gain. Christianity is not some rinky-dink religion for people pleasing and worshiping our feelings and the aesthetic. No, we're called to be as bold as a lion. This is a matter of life and death. We are not some weak jelly back Christians, they're gonna try to purge us out of society, then so be it. To live is Christ, to die is gain. The word of God says, in the last days, I, God, will pour out my flesh on all your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. In Acts 2, 17, whoever are you who are lukewarm, I will spit you out. For you are neither hot nor cold. Those of y'all who are sleeping in church, it's time to wake up. Those of y'all who are sleeping in church, it's time to wake up. Choose today who you will serve. For those of y'all who are in the world, it is time to come out of the world. Choose today who you will serve. Either you are with me or against me, but you cannot serve both.